Hey guys, so this is a review for Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah, this has been the best movie of 2015. What a lovely day! So, this is the best movie of 2015. Why do I say that? Because it's freaking awesome. This is just amazing. It's like, put the best action movie with the other best action movie. What do you get? Mad Max Fury Road. I just can't explain. It's just too good, you know? So why is this movie too good? Well, it's about, it's so exciting. You just want to watch it. You know, it's it's George Miller's new masterpiece. I don't know if The Road Warrior was better or not. I just love Fury Road. I think it's my favorite Mad Max movie. So the story just is about, there's this truck with women that are like they're used by this bad guy so they have to escape with this badass truck driver well it's furiosa then mad max the mad rock and stan but max goes there you know it's like they got he was just like escaping from something i don't know and then they caught him so this guy could call nux has them as a blood bag. So now that he has them, he uses him, and then boom, like a big, big explosion. Like, Jesus, the best car scene I have seen ever. Well, sort of. Um, I have seen good, uh, good. But yeah, then there's this like guy with a guitar, this flamethrower. It's like, oh my God, it's so awesome. So yeah. And then there's this big action, so big action. So, as I was saying, Max gets like captured, right? So, they use him as a blood bag, so. So, then, this big explosions and stuff. So, the, where Nux, the war boy, that they have like white faces. Um, yeah, that they see like the bad guy as like this religious figure, okay? He's like God, so to say. So now, um, they catch up to the truck and Max is just like full on you know she he just tries to get the truck the truck he you know and then they team up so yeah I mean if you count on spoilers this is not really big of the story so there's not really much spoilers so yeah um and then just they caught then Max has to work with them and he doesn't know what worst side it is like look he's a normal person then there's a rebellion maybe so yeah and then there's the bad guys so max is here the then he teams up here and then the bad guys are trying to catch him that's the thing and mad max is not really the best character in this movie i really enjoyed tom hardy as mad max i seriously do he barely gets to say something which is good because Tom Hardy doesn't have an Australian accent and that would ruin the whole movie and I would give him a zero so yeah so now that you get the idea Max now you know who Max is Max is just the guy you know badass sort of badass guy and then we have Furiosa we're gonna go about three characters yeah so you have Furiosa and Furiosa is a badass she's like I wouldn't call them sidekicks, like, if Mad Max was mad, Max was a sidekick, Max is not a sidekick, or neither Furiosa, they're not like sidekicks, it's not Batman or Robin, okay? <laughs> they're just helping each other out, see, okay, that's the thing, they're helping each other, so, and then, she's just badass, and she's trying to look for her family, sort of, and that's more of the story I don't want to tell about, so yeah. This is just amazing. <laughs> I don't know how much times I will say amazing, amazing, amazing. Nox is one of the war boys. The war boys are like the people that are with the Immortal Joe. Immortal Joe is a bad guy. So Immortal Joe is just... <sighs> Nox is an actually really interesting character. He's one of the like... He saw what Immortal Joe actually was. He didn't saw him as this relig religious figure. He saw who he really was. He like saw like in the video. So he saw that he's actually not 
like the good guy or well he's not the guy he thought so he's just like um my life has been a whole lie and stuff I don't want it's not dramatic so then this woman character comes and he helps him and then he's a part of the team which is awesome uh, Nux was one of my favorite characters in this movie now the soundtrack the soundtrack is one of the best soundtracks I've seen Ugh. I have it as a ringtone I seriously do well, brothers in arms. So then, I the soundtrack's so good. Like it gets you pumped out. Even my mom said, it, like I put it on the car, and my mom said, like, oh, this is really good for exercising. And I was like, okay. And then I actually started running with running with this, and I was like, oh my god, this it feels like an action movie. So yeah, this pumps you up. Um, the Junkie XL is really good at doing soundtracks. It's not like. Jurassic Park. I mean, it's so good that it's near that and that's almost impossible because you know It gets your heart bumping like the Dark Knight, but like bomb 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 So it gets you excited and you want to see this movie again So that's why I have it of a ringtone. I think I have to give him if you guys want um, I'm gonna give it like from 1 to 100 if you want guys change that just tell me so I would give this a hundred percent it's so good that I can't find anything bad with it. I mean, I would give it 99% because Mad Max wasn't the, the, you know, the character in the in the whole story. I mean, Furiosa was a badass, and then Nux was the, mo the second most interesting. T Look, Furiosa was a badass, the most interesting, and yeah. And then Nux, he was the most interesting. And then Mac, Mad Max, he was the second more badass. And the, and the third more interesting. Interesting. Or I would give him in a second. I mean, he's really interesting. Um, to think about it, he's just like stuck, and he doesn't know what to do. So he just helps someone. Um, I think you should guy, you guys should buy it on Blu-ray. Totally. Don't wait for Netflix. Netflix is gonna take you. Years, maybe it will never count come out on Netflix. They don't. I don't trust Netflix anymore. So yeah, go go to I don't know. Um, mix up Blockbuster if you have one. Um, go there, buy Blu-ray. Boom. Do it. If you guys like this video, subscribe if you want to see more. And goodbye.